So the energy that I am picking up on right now is Thoth. I would love to see what he has to say about this topic because uh, I don't necessarily like diving into the logistics of it and is this real and that's real and do I resonate with this and that. But really, let's see what uh, he has to say about this topic of the law of one and these other people that I'm talking about. Welcome to the video. Uh, this video is going to be about why I no longer follow the Law of One, that book, that series. And also why I don't follow Corey Good or David Wilcock anymore. <laughs> As you can see in the title, this is what this is about. Why I no longer follow the Law of One. And the main reason is, is I simply just don't resonate with that frequency, those energies anymore. And that's nothing, that's, not, not, that's nothing to be said. I mean, uh, at the first part of my awakening, you know, I was a little bit more innocent. I was like, wow, all this new stuff, all this new cool stuff. And I looked at that book and I was like, wow, I, uh, I, I, f I feel like I have this connection to birds and these bird beings. Maybe there's, there's a, this, uh, this book channels this certain type of bird being or something. And just because there's something that, you know, seems cool or might seem cool and maybe it, you know, sparks your awakening to help you. And that's great. And it, I think it helped me for a little bit there, too. But uh, I didn't resonate with the stuff that was in the book. I read a lot of the book and uh, I just I just didn't like it. I didn't resonate with it. I didn't feel like it was a good interpretation of the being of Ra or... Uh, those type of blue avians. I didn't feel like it was a good representation of them, but that's just how I feel. And um, like when I tap into the energy of Ra or Thoth, it's different than the energies in that book. It's it's sometimes it's not. It's about the de deliverer of who whoever channels it. If someone that channels uh, a high vibrational being but is very low vibrational. And they're not going to be able to, you know, pick up pick up up on it the right way is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I don't I don't really resonate with the, that book anymore, and that's that's all cool. I love the Egyptian times, and I love thinking about all this type of stuff. And I wish there was more books, more spiritual books about that kind of stuff. But I do not like the Law of One anymore, and that, I stopped stopped reading that book when I like about two or three years ago when I first started awakening I was like I don't really like this anymore and also David Wilcock and Corey Good I thought I started listening to them and they were actually uh, I actually like them and they were pretty you know uh, they you know sparked some awakening in me at some uh, they get people really curious about ETs which I think is pretty cool but I don't like how they put everything as good and evil and duality and stuff. It's a little bit different for me and I'm not uh, completely into it. And I don't, I don't necessarily like their interpretations of the law of one either. either. <laughs> but anyways, you know, we all go through awakening. We always uh, look at different things. We always resonate with different things throughout our journey. And and at one point, I did resonate with those things, but I no longer do. Uh, I feel an energy coming forth right now. Actually, as I'm talking to this, this is pretty cool. I don't usually you know, pick up on it that easily. So the energy that I am picking up on right now is Thoth. I would love to see what he has to say about this topic because... Uh, I don't necessarily like diving into the logistics of it and is this real and that's real and do I resonate with this and that. But really, let's see what uh, he has to say about this topic of the law of one and these other people that I'm talking about. He's saying everyone's going to resonate with something that's different. Uh, if you go within and see how you feel 
when you're listening to something or watching something and following that internal guidance system that will lead you in the right direction. He's saying if it doesn't feel good, it's probably not aligned with who you are. It's not aligned. Uh, he's saying it can be addicting to, you know, learn information, learn lots of information. This is really cool because, you know, Thoth, you know, you think he's like the god of knowledge, I guess you could say, or one of the gods of knowledge in ancient Egyptian times. Very, very intelligent, of course. And he's been blue avian, higher dimensional blue avian many times. But he's, yeah, it, he's saying it, it can get, like, our curiosity can take control of us. And that happens to a lot of people here on Earth. Whew, his energy is very, very intense. Very intense for the heart chakra. Uh, he's saying it's not about how much knowledge you know about how, how much do you know more knowledge than the person next to you about how curious you are. Sometimes it's just about being who you are, just being in the moment, being that light, being love. Uh, that's more high vibrational than going out and searching all the time for this new knowledge on this and that and this. But he's also uh, applauding us for being curious, for being curious to finding different knowledge. Especially early on in our awakening, we need that curiosity and that's why we have that. But he's also saying don't go too far down the rabbit hole. We are not meant to go so far deep into the rabbit hole where we can never find our way out. We're just so deep into these conspiracies, so deep into this, you know, the law of one or this or that or this book or that book that we can't find a way out. We're just stuck there and we never advance anymore in this lifetime. We're just always there. Or we just hold ourselves back for long periods of time. Follow your gut feeling, follow uh, that intuition. That will lead you in the right place as well as your team around you. He's saying, don't just listen to what people tell you. Don't just listen to whatever is in these books. Go with how you feel. He's saying, Earth is just a story in all, all in all. Nothing here is completely real, I guess you could say. It's just an illusion. So it's just how you interpret it. And when you look at things in the past and in history, you can go down that rabbit hole. But all in all, it's not even real in the first place. Everything is interpreted from a different perspective, from a different perception of different ideas and things and places and experiences. <laughs> He's even saying this as like he wishes he would have done this more on earth has been more grounded in who he was and and just going through life with that groundedness that peacefulness that beingness and being in the present moment because we truly are beings that are incredible and we can do incredible things while we are in the present moment we can create incredible things and if we are wrapped up in the past and in the future and in the fear of this and that, that is ego and that holds us back. Truly, truly does hold us back. Okay, I feel him, uh, I feel him starting to step back. Yeah, he's very intense energy. It's very different energy. These blue avians and different type of avians, they're just so different. It just it just shows how we don't know much, very much about the universe. There's so many different type of ETs. 
there's so many different types of avians and they're all different types of vibrational frequencies and uh yeah it's very fun to connect with uh, these beings but this is thoth and uh, let me know if you felt his energy it kind of makes you a little bit racy your heart a little anxious but uh let me get, know what you guys think i know it's it's a lot you know you don't have to you know connect with these energies but hopefully you guys learned a little bit i definitely learned a lot just channeling him here and uh about the law of one and stuff and, and sometimes you just don't resonate with things anymore and and that's okay that's that's the beauty of earth there's a lot of different things out here on earth and you can you can choose and pick and choose what you like but thanks for watching everyone uh, <laughs> hope all of you have a great day